right, welcome back. We're now going to dive into the world of the 6mm Airsoft uh, Skirmish. So I'll let Matt take it away and uh, run through all his gear, what's used for all, <laughs> and uh, we'll get on it. So introduce Matt, right quick, Dice. This is my friend Matt. Um, How are you he, doing? He's into a different type of shooting that we are. We normally target garden shooting, and he goes out because he's ex military, he, he loves the old. Uh, I think once, I, once it's in your blood, that kind of stays there. Yeah. So he's got yeah. quite a nice uh, selection of gear. Now, me and Daz know all about air rifles and stuff, but we know not much about the airsoft world. So Daz has brought his mate around. I wouldn't say I know that much about it. Well, you do it. You do I, just we, have, I just do it to have a good laugh. And you just do get out and you do we don't win relieve some stress, to be quite honest. So but we're going to get Matt to just explain things because we're talking <coughs> officers. He's, he's taken a lot for granted, thinking we know a bit about it and we don't. So, tell me, Matt, just show us some of the gear you use right, and, well, and the gist of what the game is. Well, as you can see, I've got, I would say, a varied selection, but they all ba they are all based on the American M4 platform, to be quite honest. This one here at the minute is my go-to, just purely for the fact that it's been more reliable than the rest of them. And what is that called, that gun there? That one is a g, &G MPW-7, that one. So that's the okay. shortest of the three that they do. Right. There's a Hold nine on, inch barrel. Show us, because that's, that's electric gear. Because yeah, that's, that's an electric one. That's stuff neutralized. We're used to springs and gas. But yeah, this one, right, so. just a, literally a full on replica. Same, generally same sort of size and weight as the real deal. Just fires you. Six mil plastic VBs, to be quite honest. And the battery going in the bottom yep. of the stock there. That's the Dean's connector. That's, they are varied connections for these. You've got mini Tamiya and Tamiya as well, but I tend to stick with the Dean's because it's a bit more reliable than the Tamiya. So this shit shows one of the batteries there, mate. What, what sort of battery is that? That is the that is an eleven one. We say eleven one. What's that? It's a light boat. Right. Okay. But that's the three cell light boat. That one. So that's that'll do all three of the AEGs. Right. Um, I've also got a nunchuck style with the old tam, with the old style mini Tamiya connection, which I don't use, but that's as a spare if so I need it. So that's old, old airsoft. That's tech. that's an, that's the earlier days. Not all guns have the Dean's connections on them. Generally, you'll find that's one or the other, realistically, to be fair. But that's my preference, just because it's been so, more reliable for me. So you use gas guns? Uh, yeah, I've got electric rubber. You got a gas gun as well there? I've got two. I've got. That one there, right, that which is nice. the Novrich SSP one, yeah. which to be fair, I don't really use a sidearm too much, but that is there if I do decide to run with a sidearm. Now me and Daz would assume that's CO2, but it's not, is it? No, that's great. That, that'll run green gas or red gas, but right, you just, can... Just explain that gas thing, because a lot of people in their air guns don't understand that at all, know nothing about it, like I don't, to be honest. This one works better, as it says here, low temperature. Red, I'm not, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head what the red one's for, but probably slightly warmer temperature, but... I've used that when I have done, and I can't fault it, and I've been all right in. And you just I've fill it up like a butane gas like and that, fill up. that Novrich there. And that's the difference, that's what we normally use. But then CO2. also for this pistol, albeit I run green gas, with the Novrich you can get the magazines that are on the same CO2 cans as what Dan's got right, in that one there. Right, right, right. So you can run either or. Yep. But that's because so when I got this, that's what it had was and green how many, gas. So how many um, balls did that mag hold? That I'm not entirely roughly, sure. Just, just I roughly think 20, I probably about 20 in there. And probably about 30, points. 40, give or take. And how many mags will one fill out the gas do? Uh, a couple, three. I suppose it depends how much you spam the trigger to <laughs> yeah, 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 be I just like to say, I don't really use it well, too that's much. That's more just a little it? garden thing that I mess about with. But, but yeah, perhaps at the end we can do a little test because yeah. we are going to shoot all Well, like I say, they're all here, so they'll all have a go. Hopefully they'll all work and play ball, but. I can't guarantee that. Right, so um, just run through some of the other gear you got there. You got uh, some vests, and obviously, I would imagine eye protection is sort of top of the list. Eye protection is a must. Face Pro is optional for anyone over 16. Under 16s have to have full face protection. So, whether it be standard style paintball mask or one of these with goggles, stroke glasses, I mean, they're my, they're my oldest boy's glasses, and they're mine. They're military issue ones, so they're ballistics rated them I'm not so sure about but they will do the job for this um, so I, I, I wear as a must face if you're under 16 yeah under 16s have to have full face pro in the UK that might be different in America and whatever else but I'm not so Was sure is that you car a license yes I have got one but you don't this is where it gets a little bit if you do not yeah in order to buy you need a one like license. this from a shop 
you need a valid Yukara. So but this you can, explain that to Ricaro for people. Yukara is just, from what I can tell, That's it's the, just pro to protect the sellers, basically. So these aren't being used for illicit purposes, i.e. Robberies, that sort of thing. Well, so the but you can, you can there. still buy. Is that to do with uh, that, replica look? That's and... basically a license to cover you to use realistic weapons in a skirmish situation. Yeah. So you, you, same as like people that do like level. the reenactment stuff. You, there's different types yeah. of yeah. licenses that you can have to be able to have yeah. these. Obviously, you can't drive around in the car waving this out the window. Well, obviously not. Because no. you'll have you'll have a, you'll have a red dot well, one at your forehead. Yeah, that's yeah, as yeah, simple yeah, as that. But yeah. at least like say for me, obviously I've got the Ukara, so I can go out and buy. An all black one, black and tan. Right. But if you haven't got that, if you haven't got them, you can still buy them. But you have, they have, they will have to come. Like the main body will be black. This will be blue, green, red, right. pink. It's more yeah. Like yeah, it just breaks yeah. it up. So then, yeah. say if you were to be stopped, they can determine that it's not a real sort of firearm as okay. such. But okay. So what about that plate carrier thing you got there? That plate helmet? carrier. Show us your helmets. And your... <laughs> That's the chest. That's Show the chest rig. That's just. I've got various different types of kit for depending on what we're doing when we go out. I mean, to be fair, I've got it all, but my go-to is the plate carrier. Right. And, and is that right? You wear real plates in it? I've got. That, I wouldn't say they're real. They're not real ballistics plates. But but these are more. And I felt that. These are just wide. more of a um, like a. Like a weighted vest for when you're doing your exercise, like running and thing, like just for the extra cardio. Yeah. I mean, they are. They're, I've been told they're two and a half kilo plates, but I think they might be a little bit more than two and a half kilo. But uh, that's my preference. I wouldn't last five minutes I'll wearing this. I'll, I'll, I'll be playing paintball I'll be puffing, or shooting. Two minutes. But to be fair, I've I've done a full day with it. Obviously, for, obviously a, a full day you will get broken up. You're great for a couple of hours in the morning. Go back yeah. in for lunch for an yeah, hour. Yeah, so you yeah. take it off. Yeah. Have a breather. Chill out. Cool down. And then get kitted up, ready to go back out again. So you have a bit of a workout as well. I like oh it. yeah, because yeah, nice. my fitness isn't the greatest. Mate, then we've got <laughs> two helmets here. Two out of the three that I've got in my collection. This one. Is that sort of ear pieces and yeah, gear these are. Yeah. Well, these are probably sort of knockoff ear mores, but at the end of the day, like I say, depending on what site we're playing at, we will have comms for us because a lot of the team have got them. So I've just got. Two different helmets, really. That one's my lightweight one, which, to be fair, I don't really wear too much nowadays. Maybe when the colder weather starts coming in, I'll probably have that one on a bit more. And then this one is my airframe helmet, which is basically the same. This one's a little bit heavier. Not too sure if that's ballistics red. Looks like it, but I'm not entirely sure. But that's just a lot of time. It's just for aesthetic purpose. Um, yeah, yeah. Different types of face pro. That one there will cover your mouth and your ears as well because it's not nice being hit in the ears just got your normal yeah, sort of snud with <laughs> mouth protection i've got another one but that's not with me here at this one that's my boys one or mine and my boys he's got the same obviously gloves not a necessity but that's just my preference it takes a little sting out when you do get hit in the hand still hurts but it just takes the sting out but like i say i don't generally wear my my helmet with my comms very often because we're never too far apart. Show us that launcher thing you showed me. Earlier. This one? Yeah, yeah, that amazes me. That the 203, uh, yeah, just yeah, get rid of this. Put my hands back over there. That is just an airsoft version of the real deal of a 203. That will fire any 40 mil grenade as such, whether it be a smoke, have you got one there you can show us that? No, I haven't. No, with this, no, I bought this, but I didn't get any rounds because the rounds for them are expensive. Right. But there are a couple of other lads that I go out with have got the rounds for them. Yeah, and they, they make and, them yeah. bang. And you and can, like that. I say, you've got one that sort of size. Obviously, that's the bigger one. That, you okay. can get a little one. And some that, smaller ones, you can get the single launchers that are like a little... And that'll clip on any of your rifles? This one will go... That one is primarily on... That'll normally go on this one because that's the only one that I've yeah. got the, the additional and plate for. That's the projectile got, that's got the propellant in. Yeah, 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 the actual projectile yeah. will have the gas in it and then that'll just give it the old... That's, that's, that's like, a, like a mine going off, isn't it? It just yeah. sprays them everywhere. It does, yeah. It just, it, it'll depend well, whether you put... As well, that's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's oh, what, yeah, I'll get, that's what get, gets you. Get, right. Like I say, there I'll are variants. You, you have like 60s yeah, or 100. Yeah. There's yeah. variable rounds you can get. You can buy them in a pack. Of, you can buy them singly, packs of two, packs of three. You can get them with like single 60 shot ones, just put, fill the BBs in the end, fill it up with gas. Like good for rim clearance and stuff like that. It just looks like fast a... bangs, just give it a 45 degrees, just let it go off, bang, bang, bang. Wow. 
Does so and, and you used that, have you? In I haven't the, used. Right. I bought it because I always wanted one. I don't know why. That, well, that a grenade launcher. <laughs> Well, who ain't going to want yeah, one? Exactly. When you, when, yeah. To be fair, the first time I heard one go off, I thought, what bleeding hell is that? Yeah, yeah. So that's just more of a scare tactic, to be honest. Yeah. Um, one or two of the guys that I do know have got full-on replica RPG-7s. They've got mortar tubes. A couple of lads I play with have got two. He's going to put two, three of them together and have like a triple tube. Wow. <laughs> that's mad. I think he paid he, one of the lads has got somebody who knows that can make them. It won't turn be long just, until... Turn your piece of tube sealed on one end and you just, yeah. just like to put it in and just, well, that's off, it's gone. Mm -hmm. But e padding they, they vary in price. It just depends, obviously. Depends what you want to do. Yeah. We've just got it all just because we've got every aspect covered depending on what we're going to do. But like I say, generally that one, that just sits in its case. That just doesn't do anything. Right, okay, right. Well, this is uh, quite a bit different from the airgun world. Um, <laughs> totally different, I'd say, in fact. Um, Daz, are you got any comments on all this? And, uh, I mean, you probably know a little bit more about it than me, but this is all an eye opener to me. But um, I think um, I'm gonna st I started off with like 6 mil. Yeah. Like back in the day, you didn't. You could go down your local. Gunshot yeah. or I6 like this. Yeah, I had one. I had a Beretta 9.2 SB compact, was one of the first no, one I ever no had. No problem, but nowadays, with all the laws, you can't even run down and get like no. BB guns. Well, like you just take so. a day trip to Yarmouth and you come back yep. with a little toy gun. Can't do it, can't really do it so much anymore. Yeah. Uh, oh, so yeah. I think that's time really to sort of perhaps give us a do demo some on some of these. And Which have, one do you want the demo of? Do you start where, where do you like, mate? Um, and then um that just but to it. be fair like i said i've got a battery so we'll go through we'll go through all four all five of them yeah it's not a problem good. so i'll uh i'll just get this one plugged in mm. while darren has a little mess about with the pistol but like i say this one does get a bit fiddly because you have to tuck it in certain ways to get it so it doesn't oh, bend right. wires too yeah, much yeah because they're not they aren't they aren't the biggest of spaces in here um but generally once that's sort of in um where's the back plate so is that auto full auto can you have full auto on BB this guns? one semi and full automatic but i've oh. also got a set and i can change that one that one and that one to three round burst that one i believe is already set so right. two seconds well, something we're not allowed in there just well. stick these on safety measures and all that yeah but then That's we'll safe. just see what this one is capable of today right, right a minute butch i'll uh, spin this round uh, Yeah, this, this one should now be full auto. Oh, wow, that's fun. <laughs> that's that magazine empty for that one. Nice. So we'll just switch over to the next one. Did I do another magazine for that electric one? Oh, that's got warm. That's Real warm? Already, that one is. Um, no, because some of these I've got, got different magazines, you see. That was only, that one's only a mid cap, so that one will hold about 130. This one will hold, I think, three, three or 350 now in this one. Oh, right. So this will now be is that enough. a ratchet one? Yeah, this is a windy one, so after every 10 shots or so, just give it a few winds forward on the wheel at the bottom, and then that'll be good to go again. So we'll just see. So that first gun you shot, what, what was that called? That's the MPW7, that's G&G, that's G&G, that's G&G, that's G&G. When you say G&G, what's that? That's, a, that's the brand of that right, one. Right, that's right. A, yeah. They're all made in Taiwan, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. I mean, that's the intermediate. My boy's oh, one that he's got, that's a G&G, but that's the CM16 Raider, so that's like an entry level one for them. Yeah. Just wind this up and then I'll get the, I think that's the SRL, this one I'm now going to bring out. So 
the only thing when I've only got one battery that's fully charged, I can chop and change. But all that fit in there, no is the answer to that. Can't make it fit, Butch. Oh, that'll fit, mate, don't worry. Spit on it. I have to make it fit. Spit on it. Spit on that thing. Hot tour. Hot tour. Spit tour. On that thing. That's the kids say. <laughs> But like I say, it's just it's just working out because obviously you don't want to damage the wire. This one has just been repaired, thanks to Nathan. So, no, not that magazine, this one here. Right, that one. So this one should be. This one, I think. I don't know if that's any louder than the last one. Mm, maybe the motor sound a bit louder. And then I think this is now on three rounds. So. So, right, oh, so let's just boy. change this. Just set this to three round bars. <laughs> just show you Mrs. Plants. <laughs> 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 don't shoot my blackberries. Oh no, I'll leave them, they're safe. Right, let's see if we've got it on now. So yeah, that's that one. Nice. That was one of the first ones that I bought. But um, yeah, it's just, I've got multiple things. So let's like say if friends and family want to come out and have a laugh, then you've got plenty to go around. I've got yeah. plenty to go around. I did yeah. take my mate out because he's done paintballing before, but I said, no, nah, you'll enjoy airsoft more because- Have you done paintballing? Yeah. Yeah. But you prefer airsoft. Yeah, yeah airsoft. definitely. Because yeah, yeah. like I say, this is, this is based on honesty, but like I say, you get hit, just put your hand up, hit, either walk back to respawn or you get a 10 second, medic off the shoulder, carry on. Then when you get hit again, back to respawn or whatever. So with paintball, you get hit, you're generally out of the game until that particular game mode is finished. So mm. that's those two done. I will just take the battery out of this one again, and I will put it in the ARP9, which is technically a nine mil version. Uh, of an an AR. Oh, yeah. yeah, of an AR, yeah. Um, Do you need something? No, Alan Key. Cause my my fat fingers won't get in this won't fit in this hole to push it out. But like I say, I haven't used this ARP for a while, so we shall see if it works. I I've think just we've got, got different platforms. We, just purely we might have different. had that on our channel before. I can't remember which one. I swear we, we got hold of you, some if, of those guns. If you've, if you've had one on the channel before, that would have been this one when I had you zero. Because we've done the paintball gun as well, haven't we? That was just a paintball gun. Was we, it? We didn't add a, oh, just I might have just gun. pissed yeah. around in the back garden and done yeah. it for you then. Oh, that might have been that that was on top of the paintball gun then. Because I know you did zero one of them in for me. I know you did have the paint. Because I got your full tank up, didn't I? Yeah. So, so what's this model? This one is the G and G ARP nine. This is the, this is the first version. Look more compact than the others. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. Um, that's basically an AR. Got... That's meant to take Glock mags. Right, right. Like yeah. nine mil. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, see. Right. What? Just a big well, version. Look quite a high capacity mag that one. <laughs> that comes with. You've got a drum for it as well. Yeah, really? I got. Oh. Yeah, this one. When I bought this, I bought this. This one and that one and the case and all the extras and that for a good price actually off a friend of a friend and um you got a yeah 1500 round drum one. mag but i don't use that because i think that's actually broken because the wind is knackered on it so this one doesn't get used very often but we'll see what this one well, that's got a, a tracer unit on the front as well if you can see like the lights in in front of it but if you listen this well, that's one that's crazy. yeah this one's a that lot is louder. snappy yeah. yeah, this is that's just how this one is. A lot of people comment on how loud these actually are, but this is totally apart from if anything for me. This one feels more powerful than the other two, albeit they're shorter. But this one and that one have both got Prometheus. Hot, uh, hot rubber and nubs in these two because what's that aftermarket part is the trigger it? yeah that's an aftermarket part it's just to do with the hop inside here so is, does that one go full auto this one will do full auto as well that yeah. should be so see they're pinging that's back got a nice crack me. on it i like that one this one is yeah. snappy like i say this is this is primarily why i bought this one was for the cqp just 
Let's see if this one will go on the... Oh, yeah. That sounds like this. my AK I got. Yeah, yeah. That's how snappy that is. Our, um, yeah. See if I can get this one set to three round bursts as well. But this one is snappy. This is good for indoor and CQB and everything else. Yeah, so I need to get this zeroed in again. It's well out. Yeah, I'd um, upgrade the site a little bit. Yeah, that's just got an aftermarket cheapish yeah. red dot yeah, that, from they Amazon are, or eBay or whatever. Yeah, they are bad. Reticles. I've just got it. You can like, like, change. That company, I got a, an actual scope from and they're good. Yeah. Uh, but, I can't fault it, to be fair. Like I said, it just needs to be zeroed to this because that was put on there. And obviously, I don't generally use that anyway because I'll keep an eye on where the rounds are going anyway. So, But that's that one. That's nice. I like that. And that's got a similar mag release to the MP5, yeah. which I've got. Well, I've got one of those at home as well, but I don't use it. And this is what I like. My... I like this the gas one here, version. This is one of my favourites, albeit this one doesn't get used so much anymore. I just bought this just because us. Of... And that's the green gas. This is, it... is the this is the gas powered so one. Where'd you put the gas in that? This will go in the magazine. In the magazine, yeah. yeah. Just in the side here. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. um, but you'll get, I don't know, 120 rounds out of that, possibly. It just depends good. how trigger happy yeah. you are. Loud, I think that may now well be empty. Let's have a look. Yeah, magazine's empty. So, that's that one. Right, nice. So we'll take that off there. It's the loudest I've seen so far, is it? Yeah, that's got that's yeah. got a nice little kick to that, which gives you a bit more. Like I say, that that's only two hundred pound new anyway. Um, I bought that off a friend of mine because he didn't really get on with it as such. But um, I just bought it because I like the kick on it. Mm. Obviously, that's not my go-to, but I think I might start when I next go out early August. I might well take that out with me. I'm not going to take all four. I can't be asked Yeah, I don't know how that's got stuck in there, to be quite honest. Yeah, Darren noticed that a little while ago. There we yeah. But um, that, that is just a, a clone of an EOTech 558. Yeah, nice. Does the job. Yeah. It's just for, it's for me, that's an aesthetic purpose. Doesn't do really what it's supposed to do, but like so, I say, um, I just like to have things the, that look the part. As such. Shows the pistol? Yeah. Give us a quick blast on the pistol, yeah. I did have a shoe on it earlier. That was uh, yeah. This is good, yeah. Yeah. See, I think that's now empty that's as well. Right, so yeah, yeah, yeah that's now right. right. But then, and that's green gas as well. That's green gas. Yeah. That'll run green gas and red gas. So right. yeah, it's just... different gases at different temperatures. Yeah. Oh, primarily, yeah. 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 But then, I'm like saying this is. This is the one thing that I do like more than anything else. <laughs> um, and he gave us a demo one this yeah. bit earlier, that bang like hell. Let's just make sure I get this the so, one way around. But that's purely for noise, that doesn't, no BBs or nothing. No, no BBs come out of this, but you this can get system. some. There are some like BFGs, you can fill them up with X amount of BBs, and they're on a timer. You pull, pull the pin like you do on a real one. And then you after, you after, gonna, are you now going to demo that? I am now going to demo this. If I, if I can remember, stand, I'm going to stand back. <laughs> if I can remember which way round, <laughs> how many rounds it's already had gone through it. So if I now try it, no, let's try again. That's close to it anyway. Whoa. <laughs> so, yeah, that is good for room clearance, to be honest. There's one side that we go to, the walls are three and a half foot thick, um, being an ex REF base and whatever else, but. I think I've still got two in there, so what we got one on seven, so I'll get rid of I'll just use these up and I can empty that. You could just empty them and put them back in your fucking no, <laughs> primary I'll just case. Drop them, mate, for the sake of it. I dropped that inside my house one day and made the boys shit themselves. Because <laughs> <laughs> they weren't expecting it, but yeah, that's. <laughs> so. Yeah, that does make that does certainly make a few people jump when that goes off, literally right at their feet. Yeah, I cleared. Okay. I took five people out with one of this last time I used this. Wow. Um, but yeah, they're just two oh nine primers. That I use for a starter gun, nothing special. Yeah. But so they look they're different to the twenty two stubbies. Though. Pass this one so I can have a look it up on camera. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're, so is they're that a bit, rifle primer? They look a bit longer than the little stubby. That's just two. I've got the box here. Yeah, what what ammunition would they be put in then? Are they not a 
ammunition primer or? No, they're just a primer. Just a primer. Just oh. a shot shell primer, that's all yeah. they are. So what else, Daz, is we round it up or anything else we need to know? Or? I think he's gone over it pretty well. Yeah. It's got a nice basic layout. Yeah. Uh, it's just good to see what other people do for yeah, their I mean, hobbies, like to say. Compared to air rifle, this is totally different world, don't they? Yeah. yeah. Um, all the gear, everything, really. So, um, I've got all the gear and some idea, as they say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, thanks to Matt for coming along. Yeah, yeah. Right. channel. Um, much appreciated. Um, we'll get this up on our channel. And, uh, yeah, like I say, I've got, on, get, got I'll, I'll be able to get hold of some gameplay footage as well. So, if you do want anything yeah, yeah, later down good. the line, then yeah, I can... Um, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. So, if you... That, if or you, if you can always get out for an afternoon, come and... Yeah, see me and some of the lads in action. And yeah, cool. Well, if you want to see it. any of that, get down in the comments and uh, yeah. pound us. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks again to Matthew, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.